go. Right now, in this world, you know things aren't right. There's enough proof and enough evidence to um, let you guys know that there's a possibility that there's another race here, which I totally know to be true, but you won't know it yourself until you see it for yourself. <clears throat> the Sangarian race of people. Now, we know the global elites gather at Bohemian Grove every year, and this July, they will be there. The main rituals are July 21st, July 22nd, and July 23rd. The ritual sacrifice of Mary Magdalene is on the 21st. Um, symbi the 777 seven equals 21, which is coded. Okay, the 721. 722 is the ritual sacrifice of Jesus, where they reenact these sacrifices, real deaths, real sacrifices. And the third is a, a series. Like I said, the Supreme Mother Council of the World in Washington, D.C. is called the Mystery of Series. It's the Federal Lodge Number 1, the Mason Temple there. Um, now, we know that these global elites, okay, the Queen Elizabeth also has, um, you know, control over Bohemian Grove. She will be there. Um, the most powerful global elites in the world will be there, and they're all Sangarian. Now, <clears throat> I think it's really important that we all gather there this year, really because the humans, I mean, we have to gather there in a peace offering, not in a mean way or not to have war or anything like that, but just to be there and let them know that we are aware of what they're doing and that we know they're there and that, you know, we'll, we want to make peace with them and make friends with them, but we're also not just going to look away and let them destroy our world, you know, and creation and everything that's good. Um, because, you know, they're, they're right now um, in a situation of their own where they, there's no more um, human bodies with the compatible biology being born. The youngest one is about 40, and when the human bodies they're in now die, there's no more bodies to inhabit. And so unless they figure something else out, they're going to be locked out of this world forever. And um, the more humans they've eaten, the more humane they've become. Their heart chakras, they have three hearts, and they're becoming activated, where they're having feelings and emotions. Like Pendar, um, we were talking one time about Mary Magdalene and Jesus on the cross, and then he's like, Oh, there's water coming out of my eyes. I'm like, haven't you ever cried before? And he said he didn't understand that emotion. Like I said, I've seen Sangarian more than once and more than one. I've seen the shape shift. I've seen the body, the, um, the inhabitation. I've, I've been in contact. Um, and But the ones I've been in contact with now, the queen um, has uh, pretty much knocked out of power. And so now she is the... Um, head of the entire uh, Illuminati and the Freemasons and the royal orders and the entire world basically. She is the head of everything. She is Sangarian. She's literally the queen of hell. But literally if we could all just gather at Bohemian Grove this year, you know, and everybody like make their own ritual robe. They can be tie-dyes. They can be peace signs. They can be whatever you want to express yourself. And then Bohemian Grove is in a circle. If we could all just walk around the circle, you know, because they're going to be in there. They're going to be doing sacrifices and rituals imagine this is like hell Moloch to the owl you know where they do the sacrifices if you look in the Bible you'll find Molech in there a lot M-O-L-E-C-H um, imagine okay this is like they have like children and people in cages and the, and the sacrifices they do and all their rituals have to do with sex because they get their energy that way somehow and um, you know like like um, having sex with uh, like corpses or half of a body or um, you know, um, people with their heads cut off or their arms cut off and the most hideous, heinous things you can imagine There's, you know, tearing the necks and the guts out of people and just flat tearing them apart, you know, and, and it's just, you know, corpses all over the place, half alive, half dead, you know, half bodies cut in half, what they do, you know, they get into, uh, what's that word you call it when you have sex with dead people? Necrophilia. Um, yeah, they do that. And, you know, okay, so they're reptilian. They, throughout time, you know, cold-blooded. They're not of our species. Like when a snake eats a rat, it has been for survival. It hungers, it feeds. But now the Sangarians have eaten so many humans. They've developed human emotions. Now there's no excuse. Now, you know, we, I'm not going to make excuses for them anymore. Now what they're doing is wrong, and they know it. And they're going to have to stop it. 
but they're going to need something else because if they don't do that, if they don't eat the human biology in the blood or whatever, then they lose their anchor and they can't stay anchored in the human body, which they hijacked to begin with. And then they are trapped in this fourth dimension, this abyss place. You know, so right now their heart chakras are being activated and they need something else in order to be able to sustain themselves, which is love. They need, you know, they need, to, not the mushy kind, because I'm not mushy, but they need to be able to feel and experience the human emotions and, and they fed off of fear, but now they could really know, you know, be accepted here. You know, and we could make friends with them because they're too powerful and too um, big to fight because they would destroy us and they're well on their way to destroying us right now because they know that their time's almost up. They're going to take us with. The swine flu, um, it's part of population control. All this stuff is being set out on us. And plus, they can do quarantine, um, mandatory quarantine for an entire neighborhood or, you know, for your house. You know, like if you go to jail, at least you know when you get out. But when you're under quarantine, for these illnesses, you know, like say three people in your neighborhood or, um, get sick with the swine flu, they could take the whole neighborhood and put you under mandatory quarantine and then you have to take their shots and do what they say and, you know, you don't even get a release date. You just stay there until whatever they say, which will be indefinitely. Martial law is on the horizon. It's going to be easier to get out of those FEMA camps and then it's going to be, it's going to be easier to stay out of those FEMA camps than it is to get out. Okay, but this this July at Bohemian Grove, um, the 16th and the 17th is when it really starts getting busy in July. The 23rd is the last day of the main rituals. But, you know, for all of us to gather there and let them know, you know, and whether you believe they're human or alien or not, it doesn't matter. The point is, is there's still the global elites, and this still can be proven, and all the main corporations in the world and all the main powers in the world gather there, the global elites, so even if you don't believe they're reptilian, it doesn't matter. We still know that they're the ones running our world and they're the ones fucking up our world and destroying the integrity of creation, you know, and sucking the life out of life. And so just for that fact, we should gather there, but not in war, but in peace and just let them know that we're there, you know, and, and everybody should make their own rituals. I mean, their own, uh, uh, oh, their own ritual robes. You know, because it's a sacred event, it would be like a magical event because all of us gathering and all our energy together would cause an energy frequency to happen which would raise the vibration of Earth, which would help to, in, um, would help stimulate and activate healing and magic and, and miracles and all kinds of things for the entire world just by us gathering there for the same cause. For, you know, instead of fighting each other, we'll all be there for the same cause. Yeah, the human race, you know. Because I'm telling you, inside this Bohemian Grove, it's going to be the Sangarians, which is the reptilians and the global elites, and the leader of the um, Illuminati, the Queen Elizabeth, is Sangarian, reptilian. They're going to be in there, and we can go there, and, and it's in a circle. We can walk around, you know, and we can all walk around in our robes and, and sing or chant or whatever. Um, but the point is, is we have to do something because next year it might be too late. We're running out of time, people. You know, and those chemtrails in the air, all those people think, oh, that's just water from the plane or whatever behind the plane, that's those smoke trails. No, those are chemtrails, and those are full of all kinds of bullshit that, that filter down, that, you know, you see those clouds filtering down, and we breathe that stuff, and it makes us, where we can't feel our emotions strong enough to care, to do anything about anything. People are like, oh, <laughs> Oh boy, oh well. You know, they're gassing the hell out of us. They're, they're keeping us down, dumbed down, so that we can't evolve and so that we can't catch on to what they're doing because the veil is so thin. You know, the veil isn't lifted yet, but it is thin enough to see through. And I've been through it, and I can take you through it because I've been in contact with St. Gary, and I know who they are and where they are and how to go about it. Um, and I'm not here because I'm special. I'm here because you're special. When I call myself Tree with three E's, that means your name, every one of your names is in that name, tree, so that you will never be lost or forgotten. I'm not anybody special. I just love you guys. I love this earth like an earth mother would. Um, you know, and that's what I'm, I want, that's what I'm applying for is to be the earth mother. Not just by saying it. Three seconds? Oh, 30 seconds. Um, I want to be the earth mother not by saying it, but by doing it, by acting on that. And I'll do, I will die so you can live if I have to. I don't want to die, but I will. But boho, this year, July, let's, you know, let's hook up. All of us together, okay? Earth Party rules. I love you.